Hey, welcome back to the channel. So uh, this is going to be part three of our Linux uh, Debian installation video. We're done the installation in part one. We, part two, we've installed all our applications, all, all everything that we need. So I, I figured maybe I'll make a part three where I'll just, uh, I'll show you how to use your new system to create an image of a hard drive uh, with hash values, verify that image, and then you can start your investigation from that point. So before I go any further, make sure you like and share this video. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel because it really helps the channel a lot. Uh, and, you see, and your support is uh, greatly appreciated. Here we are, the system's installed, system's up and running. So we're gonna take a uh, test hard drive. I have an 80 gig drive, which I'm gonna plug into the system. I'm also gonna take a one terabyte SSD, which I'm gonna use it as a target drive. And we're gonna make an image with hash values. And then we're gonna uh, verify it. So I'm already imaging the drive, but I'll show you the command that I use uh, to image it uh, once I switch over to my screen here. So the first things first, we got to plug in our uh, target drive and our source drive. Now, if you remembered, we set up on the in the second video, we turned off auto mount. So now you see the drives are plugged in. You can see uh, on the screen here, test and NV. Uh, these both of these drives are plugged in, but they're not. Um, they didn't mount. So if I were to click on it, it would mount mount it for me. But we don't want to mount it. So uh, we're gonna run disks. So to your start menu, type in disk. And you see disks here, so you just launch it, and there it is. So we have uh, one terabyte uh, SanDisk Extreme. This is our, our, our um, target drive, and we have our source drive, which is the evidence, 80 gig, uh, just a standard hard drive. Uh, this, this is just a drive I had around, laying around here. So first things first, we have to install Gparted, or you can do this from command line. Uh, uh, for the sake of um, being this being easy, we're gonna do it from command line, uh, from uh, from the GUI. So let's run Synaptic again, and we have to install a few packages. Well, one for now, we're gonna install more later. Actually, let's, let's install everything now in one shot. So first thing you need is Gparted, and obviously you can do this through. Um, you can do this from command line if you like uh, adb so i uh, sorry apt-get install and you can install so gparted another one we're gonna need is sysstat sysstat is not necessary but if you want to uh, monitor the the drive speed and all that so uh it's good to have sysstat it's, uh, what, what sysstat installs is iostat and you can monitor the drive so we're gonna apply. And what Gpart is gonna help you do, Gpart is gonna let you format your hard drive um, the easy way without having to um, resort into command line. I mean, if you wanna use command line, you know, it's, uh, you, you're more than welcome to use command line. It's, uh, it's quicker and it's, it's more precise. But uh, if you're new to Linux, if you're just starting out, I think uh, using uh, GUI tools is better for you. So now we have gparted installed, just type in gparted, there it is. We have to put in your uh, root password, obviously, because we are gonna be working off drives. So we see here SDA, so make sure you watch which drive you're working with, because you see here our one terabyte, the device is slash dev slash SDA. So this is the drive we wanna format. So we choose SDA, see there's some data on there, but I don't care, we're gonna delete everything. So we're gonna choose the partition that's on there. And we're gonna delete the partition that's on there now. Then we're gonna right click again, we're gonna go new. Um, here's you can choose the fast system you want. So because I'm working with Linux, uh, I'm gonna format the drive with ext4. Obviously, if you're gonna work with Windows later, you can do NTFS, so you can do XFAT. Um, you can format the drive somewhere else and bring it over x files it's really up to you but we're going to go with ext4 since we're going to be working with everything on linux we're just going to keep it linux uh partition linux partition so let's go apply as going to format it you can see there disks now just deleted the uh, partitions and so formats completed you can see now that uh, the drive is formatted in the ext4 it's uh, it's going to reload the partition scheme again uh, we can close that now we can see here our one terabyte volume showed up here, so we can we can mount it if you like. So now the one terabyte is mounted. Make sure you don't click your evidence drive, which is right here. So now that the um, partition is mounted, uh, we can uh, we can type in df-h, and we can see the um, 
the one terabyte is mounted uh, in slash media slash my username and then this weird uh, UDID which is the UDID of the drive so um, we n now we know where to put our image so um, for the sake of the time of the video uh, I'm already running uh, the DCFLDD on my uh, source drive which is here it's already at 60 gigs um, the command for this is as you can see DCFLDD space F, which is the input input file which is slash dev slash sdb because we know our drive is sdb uh, we want to point to the partition we want the entire drive including the slack space at the end here uh, then space then of uh, which is off file which is where it's going to go so you're going to go f equals so let's let's see what this command will look like this is dcfldd f equals slash dev slash HD, sda and uh, make sure you run this as root, by the way. So uh, before I forget, sudo space and this is up to the slash off equals slash and uh, the one terabyte was mounted in. Let's check here again in disks. It's mounted in um, slash media slash forensic guy slash that weird thing. So again, some me hit tab that completes the command for you. And then fo tab again completes the line for you and then 94 hit tab and now we're going to be in that directory where the drive is mounted we're going to name it uh, my image dot img hash equals you can do md5 comma sha256 but for the sake of the video we're going to do just md5 and then hash log equals it's a bit bigger equals and then the the hash log again you have to point it where you want it so you have to go slash media unfortunately if you that far in the command it's not going to complete it for you so so we're going to do it like this we're going to select all this control shift c or you can go in here copy and then control shift v and then uh, log is going to be my hash dot txt when you hit enter, it's gonna start imaging. So like I said, I'm already running it here. You can see it's already at 63 gigs. Uh, we can also monitor the speed of this uh, this drive here by running uh, uh, this command right here. So the, what, remember we installed iostat. So iostat space dash p uh, space sdb, which is the source drive we wanna monitor, space slash d, uh, dash d space one. So every second it's gonna update the speed of the drive. You can see it's going at 30 megs a second. Imaging is not a fast drive, it's going through USB 3, uh, but not necessarily a fast drive uh, when it comes to imaging. I probably should have taken an uh, SSD, but that's okay. So let's wait for it to finish, and I'm going to show you how to uh, verify the hashes, which you should be doing after each imaging, and then we're going to load into autopsy, and then uh, you can start your investigation. So let's pause the video here, and I'm going to come back when it's all done. So as you can see, the imaging is here, it was done. We got uh, the entire drive, there was no errors. Uh, luckily, I found a drive that didn't have any bad sectors. So when that is all done, you got to verify your image. There's two ways of verifying the image. One way is to run DCFLDD input file, which was SDB, which is a source drive. And then VF equals to and you point it to the uh, image you've created. And then you type in verify log and you create another verify log. Another method is using MD5SUM, but uh, I've chose to use uh, DCFLD because I use DCFLD to create an image, so I'm going to use DCFLD to do verify the image. So you're done with the image. I want to stop this verifying process. Um, so you've done your uh, imaging. So now, uh, so you have that image. It's sitting on your on your target drive. Now, obviously, mine is sitting on my desktop because I started this before the video. Uh, but you will be you, yours will be on your target drive. Anyways, thanks for watching. That's it for this video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, really helps the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.